Hey everybody, it's John Thomas here of the uh, John T. I don't know why I do all these voices. Uh, John T. I like doing voices though, because it's fun to do voices. Uh, it is, oh my god, it is Monday, uh, November 30th. Uh, it's time to pay my rent, and I'm glad I can pay my rent, uh, because for a while there I thought it wasn't, but all that stress is gone. So it is my kitchen, and I'll fry if I want to, and today, today kids, I'm actually going to do a cooking vlog. I've not done a cooking vlog in so long. <laughs> uh, but just for some reason, I'm going to try and do some kind of like raspberry jam. I bought these on sale. I just sent for a dollar and I actually forgot about them. So they're raspberries. And when raspberries kind of go all, you know, like that, and that's beautiful actually. You can make like a raspberry wine if you chose to do so. But I'm just going to do a little jam action. But the only thing is, uh, I actually don't have the right equipment for this because I only have coconut sugar. So it's going to be coconut raspberry jam. So what does that mean? It means it's another day in my life. That's what it means. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I've got a tripod. So let's see. There's the pot that the raspberries are going to go into. <laughs> Here are the raspberries three of them, and they're encased in plastic because, trust me, <laughs> you want to put this directly in the pot. So we're going to take a quick pause, and uh, we're going to have a little fun uh, this morning. It's about um, it's about uh, 6 in the a.m. Uh, I'm going to be doing some interesting, I, I don't know, I, I guess I'll be paying my rent today and uh, doing some taxes and um, just doing some busking stuff. It's supposed to snow later today, and um, it's been an interesting week. We're a week in uh, to... Um, to our uh, quarantine, which I'm against. So, uh, bread is playing in the background, but I don't want anyone on YouTube or Instagram to get upset that I'm playing some copyright music now. Turn that off. Uh, so, so I'm in home in my apartment. So, what time is it? It's uh, 20 after 6 uh, in the morning. Um, and I'm very sad this week. I'm really sad that. Uh, so, all the evidence is. It's, it's the evidence of COVID-19, which is a serious illness, by the way. Okay, so don't make light of it. It's worse than the flu, yes. Okay, I've talked to some doctors. I've, I've seen the diagrams. I've seen the charts. Yes, I believe in it. What's wrong about COVID-19 is what the government's doing. <laughs> and what the government in Ontario is doing is they've decided all small retail, all restaurants, all music clubs are evil. They're not. Okay. Uh, so all the deaths, the majority, over 95%, are over 65, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. And, and they're not bar hopping at 2 o'clock in the morning, and they're not crowded into small retail stores, okay? Uh, they're in, some are in palliative care homes, some are in senior homes, and that's where they're dying, in droves. And they're still dying in droves because politicians aren't God. They're trying to be God, but they ain't. Uh, I am Christian. I'm born again, and I play, pray to Jesus every day. And I really pray to Jesus that we fire all these motherfuckers because <laughs> they're doing a shit job. And that starts with Justin Trudeau, Doug Ford, and John Tory. And let me tell you something, guys. I'm in Toronto. I can single some of uh, Bonnie Crombie. I just I said is a funny in everyone because uh, she's also God. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, when you take everyone's jobs away, and I was fired because of COVID-19 bullshit. Uh, when you take everyone's job away and uh, give them a smittance of money or no money at all, what do you expect? And all the evidence says you're wrong. Your great bureaucracy cannot... The, the facts are everything you just did in your quarantine are wrong. Okay? Okay. So let's crowd everyone into Walmart and have an outbreak in Walmarts. Okay? Let's crowd everyone into forcing Amazon workers to be completely overworked because he's covered away from small retail. That's what these WHO doctors, these Dr. Death doctors, Dr. Tam, who just wants to take away Christmas and all the politicians, they have to, they have to listen to the doctor because everything these doctors are telling you to do is making COVID-19 worse. It doesn't exist in Wuhan, China. It's gone. Herd immunity worked in Sweden. Look at South Korea. Look at the countries where it worked. Don't look at the United States where CNN is lying <laughs> with the Democrats. It's media sensationalism. The flu has been killing thousands of people every year, and all the Osam stories you're seeing on CNN happen every year. They're just covering it this year, and it just happens to be called COVID-19, if it is. 
most of them are, but some are fudge too. Remember, don't trust the government that are liars. So back to the cooking vlog, guys. <laughs> That's a little rant. And the rant is, uh, it's wrong, I'm very sad, but you know, my life will go on. I'll pursue, I guess this week I will try and get an agent. I'm supposed to phone a few people, actually I've met all these people. People from the Alma Combo, I'm supposed to phone them and stuff like that. So let's start phoning people. But you know, I am certainly a diamond in the rough and uh, whatever to call myself a diamond. I'm just definitely rough, I am 54. I am a former homeless crack addict, right? So, and uh, you know, my past is my past. And I still have a record. It's a minor theft record. And uh, Justin Trudeau, I'm not going to spend $2,000 for something you should have expunged, by the way. You know, that's why. But you've done some good things. Uh, you've stepped up with Serb, and I, I do praise you for that. You've done a lot of good things, but you haven't done everything. And the biggest thing I have against you uh, politicians, and I guess I'll actually cook this uh, raspberry jam soon, is uh, look at all the businesses that have gone bankrupt. So... On the news, John Tory said, well, well, we'll help the small businesses. We'll help the music clubs. Like, you know how many music clubs have now gone bankrupt, John Tory? Justin Trudeau and Doug Ford? Where, where's your money? Nothing. They didn't qualify, right? I've talked to them. Well, you said you were going to get the money, but you didn't. So step up. Back to the jam. So basically, I should actually Google this. Uh, sorry to rant, but, you know, I'm very, I'm very sad. Like, the whole world has been turned upside down. <laughs> I can't even do a cooking vlog without talking about it. This is going to be Raspberry Jam Coconut Sugar COVID-19 Edition. Christmas time. It's coming soon. Once in a month. So, let's take a quick pause, and we'll see what, like, this looks like uh, when I get to this in the, um, in the pod. Uh, I guess I could... We could video me doing it, but we'll do a little edit, which means my editing skills is me pushing pause and then pushing play <laughs> for seven minutes, and we'll uh, get this going in the pod. Coming back soon. Okay, we're coming back. We just took the uh, raspberries in the package, so I put them all in a small pot. I've just smushed them, uh, so I basically just crushed them with a fork or a spoon, or uh, I think I have a lot. Um, anything you want, potato mash, <laughs> I just forked it. So there's the coconut sugar. Now that's all the sugar I have in the house. I have some honey, uh, which I'm not going to use, um, and I have some lemon. I know you usually put some lemon in um, jams to, uh, well, generally when you're making jam, and this isn't really going to be a real jam jam because I don't have pectin because you need, generally, it's good to have, like, if you really, really want to make jam, you'll, you'll do a nice Google recipe. And you'll get like fruit pectin sugar and it'll thicken. But my aunt, uh, God rest her soul, Aunt Isabel, used to make jam just using um, uh, fruit and sugar. Not coconut sugar. I just don't happen to have much sugar right now because I'm barely home. Like, I buy very sporadically because I'm always uh, busking. Um, but um, yeah, so uh, this is going to be just my attempt at making it. And because I can't. Um, uh, I can't Google this because I, I have limited data and my other phone has no data. So I'm going to try and find a book on how to make jam because I know this is uh, three half pints of raspberries, um, whatever that is. I'll find out the grammar. Because when you do make these things, you should, uh, you could either just go by taste, which is I could just start cooking it and I'll cook it until it's sweet enough for me. Or you can sort of measure and then I'll just be a little uh, easier uh, because uh, especially with bread making or, or pastries or jams or any a candy or especially like that it's it's not you don't have to be all chef you just just use proportions and it'll come out all beautiful all the time but you can also do it by uh, taste too and uh, uh, but I'm gonna take a quick look <laughs> see if I can actually get an idea of how much sugar to put and I'll be right back coming back Okay, luckily I am saved. I've got the joy of cooking, which I've had for eons. Uh, and I got raspberry jelly. Raspberry jam. What are we saying? Four, one quart of fruit, four cups sugar. Okay, that's like not happening. <laughs> and some lemon in the end, right? Uh... Let me read it. Okay, so basically, I don't have enough um, sugar, so we're gonna do raspberry s jam esque. 
<laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's get this cooking, and we'll see what happens. And I'll uh, set up this tripod so you can watch me cooking. Okay, come in there. And thank you, Joy, for cooking for giving me an idea. The idea is, I don't have the proper ingredients. I'll do it my way. So this is the idea you, Sinatra fans, I think. Mm-hmm. So as a uh, Red Seal chef, former Red Seal chef, however you want to tomatoes bond me, how you want to tell me, I've decided I'm going to do one cup of coconut sugar, the three packages of raspberries, and they are the, um, I'll come in with raspberry juice now, they are the Driscoll's brand, <laughs> and they are, uh, oh God, 170 70 grams each, so three 170 gram packages of raspberries, uh, a few of the ones that were kind of rotting. <laughs> I picked them. <laughs> so it's been sort of, you know, basically becoming raspberry wine <laughs> in my fridge, but not really, uh, because I took them out before. And one cup of sugar, and we're going to do a little lemon, probably half um, lemon juice. So let's let's do the cooking. So we got the heat on. Let's put the sugar on. <sighs> Doesn't that look amazing? <laughs> See if I can do the actual tripod action where you actually see what I'm doing while I'm doing it. That's why we got the tripod. Let's see. Can we find that jam? Find that jam, camera. Get that jam. Oh, I need a jam shot. I'm getting there. Looks possible. I'm, I'm getting a jam vibe. Can I get the pot? The problem is I need a bigger tripod. My, my phone is starting to get hot. <laughs> So check out the detail in my chefdom. We're lowering the heat. Now we're starting to stir that sugar in, kids. <laughs> Look at that technique. <laughs> kids, this is a year of college. Look. <laughs> I occasionally like to freestyle. Some people like to go the same way. I like to go anyway. <laughs> this way, that way. As they say, as they say on TV now, hey, we're all in it together. This way, that way. Raspberry coconut sugar jam. So that's three packages of 170 gram raspberries from those Driscoll farms in California. Mm-hmm. So obviously, um, with the sugar, so coconut sugar looks like brown sugar, and it's got a lot of uh, that caramel color, so it's going to have an interesting taste. Um, you know, I love coconut sugar in my coffee, so I'm going to basically just uh, bring this to a boil, and I think I've made jams in the past. I'm just this tribal out, so I have to, uh, I should get that shirt. <laughs> okay. So, uh, that's, uh, so look at the darkness uh, compared to what it was. And obviously, if I was using, uh, as my hand goes in there, so just this dry line, um, if I was using white sugar, obviously it wouldn't be dark brown like that, but it's coconut sugar, raspberry jam ask. And technically, um, I should be using more sugar uh, because uh, this really is going to be very tart, uh, but I'm not the biggest sugar fan because I'm in my 50s. And I've read, basically, uh, I subscribe to uh, what Charles Atkins would say, and he said uh, the two uh, worst things in, in, you know, for diet for, for people as they age are white flour and white sugar for the simple reason it's just too processed, right? Just eat more whole foods. The Mediterranean diet is cool. You don't have to, like, go totally eat <laughs> shit like ice cream have ice cream and too much ice cream. <coughs> I always think, you know, it's natural. It's like cream and why is all sugar? <laughs> I still don't get that fucking... Anyways, uh, moderation should be the key. And uh, so I'm going to let that bubble up, boil. Uh, I'm not going to take a video of this boiling. Um, I was thinking maybe I'd take... Later, maybe we'll do a, one where I boil water. I keep joking about doing that. I think I should film myself boiling water, but I have to post it. And then I have to link the weed on it. Um, so I'm going to basically bring this to a boil and, uh, we'll cook it down a little bit. And basically I'm going to cook it uh, like a sauce. So when it cooks, it coats the back of the spoon, I'll say it's ready. Say maybe 15 minutes. I think I watched some people cook jam in my life for a dad. I actually watched the video now and I feel it, so I have to wing it. And it doesn't matter. It'll just taste raspberry and sugary tart. I know it's not going to be that sweet. And um, I'll let you know how it comes back uh, when it's all done. So when it's all done, we'll finish this video. 
I gotta figure out a way. I've always got this is me going for the pause, going for the pause, and me pursing my lips. Yeah, I'm always pursing my lips just to uh, you know. There's that shot. I should do. A, hey, let's do some selfie shots. Let's do one selfie. Good selfie time. There's one. Wait, I should do one with the damn raspberry. That's it. Me cooking with the sign. Yes, get the sign, John. Come on. This is for Instagram, baby. I can get the sign backwards, maybe forwards. Oh my god. How do I do this? Yes. Smile. Okay, let's get that serious smile. Okay, now let's stop smiling. Okay, never smile. Okay, I'm coming back. Okay, coming back. Uh, kids, I'm uh, just getting a call from Kim Kardashian. In my dreams. I should brush my teeth. Coffee stain. Let's get this weight nervous. Anyways, I don't think it's quite see how young they are when they want to be a Kardashian. <laughs> So as you can see, it's looking really, um, yeah, so it, maybe it's not going to look that great. <laughs> it's a really dark brown sugar. <laughs> Seriously, if you saw that shit in a drawer, would you buy it? <laughs> Kamala's coconut raspberry-esque jammy jelly is would be the foodie title. I also like when I'm uh, cooking jams to always cook with a spoon in there. It gives that wood flavor. <laughs> I think I made curry uh, a few weeks ago with this, so it's got that also maybe an essence of curry. It made me think that uh, je ne sais quoi, you know, because every time you cook something different with a wooden spoon, it could be that certain something. You know, I had that chili at Jim's one day, and I said, there's that something, you know, he, occasionally I have, you know, you know, you never, because it could be the, the butterfly effect, the slight amount of something in there can alter that flavor, like the butterfly can cause a hurricane, supposedly, um, I say bullshit, but, <laughs> who are these people that <laughs> say the butterfly? <laughs> yes, they always have the answer to Okay, so this is going to take a while to boil. Um, yeah, so let's just say it's great. Um, I'm actually losing I'm losing room on my SD card, so I actually have to cut this log um, over. So I'm going to just say it's going to taste absolutely great, uh, even though it doesn't look that great. <laughs> this is an interesting cooking vlog. Uh, so... And partially a rant about the politicians uh, shutting down the world. So it is November 30th. I hope there's some good news that some businesses will uh, somehow talk this government into opening up businesses and stop blaming people and shaming and bullying and taking our human rights away and all the court cases that are going to be mounted because of COVID-19 and the whole horse shit. And the... Uh, the, the um, actually, I don't even know what's going to happen because uh, you know, I have no control on it. I have a small YouTube channel, John T Food 66 YouTube, John T Food 66 Instagram, John Thomas Facebook, uh, John dot Thomas dot song TikTok, John dot Thomas dot song zero second TikTok, Whew. and I'm supposed to get on way more social media, but you know that's all time, right? And um, as my jam bubbles away. I'll close my eyes before I eat that. <laughs> Brown jam. <Okay. laughs> well, I actually upload. Yeah, I will upload this because it's more of a rant than a jam. Okay, the uh, be interesting. I'll do a uh, jam or um, a um, a conclusion vlog when I have a little more space. I'm going to run out of space actually. So I'm gonna wait. So I gotta wrap this up. So, anyways, uh, so that's the end of my uh, jam uh, rant and uh, about politicians. So, John Thomas saying, God bless you. Uh, it is uh, Monday, November 30th. Um, Merry Christmas soon uh, to all. So, celebrate. Happy Hanukkah to everyone. And happy life to everyone, bottom line. Um, you know, and love life. And we'll get through this. And hopefully, one day the politicians will, will let us know and we can hopefully live our lives again if they ever give us back our rights. God bless you all. Peace.